to run windows 365 successfully in in your environment you need to do one thing that is just keep the sufficient balance in your credit card and the rest of the things i will show you in this video how you can set up configure and do the maintenance on these virtual machines today i'm going to talk about windows 365 services where how you can deploy the machines how you can deploy the virtual machines uh, this service was uh, released in last year last to last year basically uh, in august 2021 the next generation cloud pc windows 365 left many people confused uh, like me also and uh, microsoft already has a virtual desktop service called uh, windows virtual desktop uh, which provides a very similar service there is uh, there is one major difference between uh, between the two uh, windows 365 is easy to set up uh, once the cloud pc uh, has been created the hardware is managed by uh, microsoft and the operating system can be managed by intune uh, there are two basically versions there is a windows 365 business edition and there is a windows 365 enterprise edition uh, windows 365 business is typically uh, used by smaller companies uh, lesser than 300 uh, user company uh, they can go for the windows 365 business and above 300 uh, users uh, they can go for the enterprise edition features also there is a difference okay the monitoring troubleshooting or the the third one is the universal printing it's not supported in a business edition whereas uh, enterprise edition can give you connect your azure virtual network also it can uh, also connect with the your domain controller file storage uh, enterprise also fully compatible uh, with the microsoft intune so you can deploy any application or you can restrict the users and uh, their access also you can you can do that uh, through the intune prerequisites uh, to do this is only uh, you need a uh, intune license and uh, windows enterprise e3 license that is uh, comes again for the operating system that that license is if that these license you have then uh, you are good to go uh, but a windows 365 license to run this uh, vm so quickly i'll show you how and where you can see this license from where you can purchase the license and how you can deploy this whole thing so let's uh, get started with our demo so we are talking about now is uh, windows 365 enterprise and the windows 365 uh, business uh, business licenses so from where you can get that okay the main now if you see there is a there was a uh, purchase service there was a section here previously but now as microsoft rolling out uh, this this option is going away and from now on uh, you need to purchase the any license from the market marketplace so i'll click on the marketplace windows 365 yeah and windows 365 enterprise and windows 365 business there are two editions and uh, you can clearly see the price difference also it's not a big uh, big difference but there is uh, windows 365 enterprise basically applicable uh, where the user is more than 300 and uh, business 365 uh, windows 365 business is applicable uh, uh, where the user is up to 300 300 uh, 300 cloud pcs okay um, so I, as a part of this demo i will show you the uh, windows 365 enterprise enterprise edition uh, go to the details and then you can okay great and uh, you see here a lot of uh, versions and processor ram and storage combination is available from from this you can choose anyone but right now i am going with a trial version so you also can go with this trial version so i am taking this two or two cpu 8gb 128 gb ram this option i am selecting and start the trial uh, if you see here the options are if you have a business premium e3 e5 these big licenses then you don't need uh, any uh, particular license uh, you are good to go if you have already uh, windows 365 so i am just going with this and starting the trial now it takes time uh, to start this uh, trial version and i'm just uh, confirming number continue now i'll go to the billing section and uh, my licenses and i will see yep okay now i see see uh, i have already uh, running one trial version windows 365 business and now uh, i deployed windows 365 enterprise uh, with the two cpu 8 gb 128 gb ram so now how you can go and deploy this it's a very simple and easy process now what you have to do is uh, go here click here active user and uh, 
as a part of this i am going to assign this license to my current i am logged in with the all power this id so i'll just uh, go here in the license and app tab and then i will assign this windows enterprise license save this is all you need to do to assign the license that's it then i'll go to the here and I'll go with the Windows 365. If you will see this Windows 365 tab, it will add when after uh, you assign the license to that user. So you click on here, the login URL for this Windows 365.microsoft.com. And uh, now you see there is a Windows 11. This is a business edition, uh, business uh, license that I took already. And uh, the same way it will deploy the for uh, Windows 365 uh, enterprise edition also. So now what I'm doing, I'll, I'll show you how a look and feel of uh, this virtual machine. So I'll just open the browser, open in the browser and then uh, it will check, okay, how you want to connect a printer, microphone, clipboard of your uh, base uh, host laptop, right? So I want to connect. So I, I will click on the connect and it will connect into your cloud PC. And a few minutes, in a minute uh, it will I'll take it, okay. Now it asking me password, I'll put the password. It's a very easy process, uh, see, but it takes time when it is the first time deployment, okay. It takes 20 to 30 minutes to deploy completely and uh, when you come to this page. Uh, skip for now. Now you are on the home page and you will see no difference if you click on this and full screen. If you switch to full screen, uh, you will see nothing, no difference in this. Uh, everything is similar, everything you can access, all this stuff you can access. Then you can uh, see the setting page. If you go to the about page, the configuration, Windows 11 Enterprise, 22H2, and the 7 8GB RAM, and the <coughs> the processor and everything is as they mentioned everything is there uh, and there is an option also you can run this desktop app it will download the application MSI file and you can run that and you can you can taste you can take a remote desktop from your local PC client and I'll just download the 64 bit version okay now it's download the running next next accept next install yeah so you need to get this api url copy this and once the copy you need to open okay let me finish this yeah subscription url click on this paste the url that you copied and it will next and then you have to put your email id login id basically so i'm logging into this and it will just take a couple of minutes and uh, you will see this machine is listed here i'll just open double click on it and it is just connecting to the cloud pc so yeah i have to put my name password again And you will see a similar experience that you see or you take a MSST. And also it will connect your drive, local drive. Uh, you see it is also connecting local drive, D drive. So I can access all my data from here also, uh, which is a good thing. Then I will show you. Yeah, so you, this this experience is very easy no not uh, the fancy thing okay you will see the everything teams is connected uh, i have logged in with my account properly i can make a call take a call and i can update this machine everything basically the microsoft is going to manage this uh, machine uh, in the back end and we just responsible for uh, connecting this machine connect and do a patch and everything uh, patching and everything deployment of application if you have an enterprise edition that will uh, that we can manage from the Intune portal uh, rest of the things are good uh, you can access the internet also uh, from here uh, 
have continue sync and continue and we want to connect now uh, continue without data there you go and I'll just check the google.com internet is also accessible so yeah that's all uh, in this demo I'll take you to the enterprise uh, Intune portal where you will see okay uh, now I'm going to the Intune portal uh, it's a endpoint manager is the Intune portal and I will show you how you can check your machine how you can provision an enterprise edition like uh, now we have an enterprise edition license assigned it so how you can provision the machines but it's a prerequisite that you need a local uh, network or uh, network connection local uh, network connection or we need from Azure to deploy or provision the Azure uh, to provision uh, VM so quickly we'll go I'll show you from where you can click the device and go to the Windows 365 and uh, go to the all cloud pc and you will see that machine is here but it's not provisioned uh, you need to provision this uh, device by creating a policy and when you click on the creating policy you will see this uh, joint type how you can join as your ad joint or a hybrid uh, as your ad joint in this situation you might you might need uh, as your ad connect tool uh, installed which is which will connect your local active directory to office 365 as your active directory and uh, as you already joined uh, that but see this is a mandatory requirement that you need to have a uh, network where how you how you are going to connect that machine right so you need a network and the region and everything you need to select and uh, as your network if it is there as your network you need to make a connection so that that this is a prerequisites for this and this is kind of a limitation for uh, enterprise edition right and then there is a custom image you can build and you can deploy uh, pre pre deployed applications operating system okay that way but since you can connect the enterprise edition uh, vm to uh, intune and from the intune you can deploy any any kind of application immediately so you don't need to create a custom image uh, as your network connection uh, again that we need to create here so you can uh, provision policy you can create based on that as your network so this is all uh, from this demo uh, again like there will be the another uh, session where I will show you the all this Intune thing how you can manage device how you can create an application how you can deploy how you can run the script how you can troubleshoot and a lot of things are there how you can maintain the security and uh, when it comes to security how and uh, reduce the attack surface uh, from all endpoints so so these all all of that I will cover when I'm uh, talking about the Intune Intune section uh, so conclusion or a takeaway from this this uh, whole session is uh, Microsoft 365 this cloud PC offering can be the perfect fit for organization organization that uh, requires remote workers to log into the PC and they can access their network without any need for VPN uh, that that is a business addition and enterprise addition uh, comes with a lot of things but it's it's see this product is not not a cheap product uh, you have to pay a lot um, Thanks for watching. Please subscribe the channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.